Good Monday morning. This is your Monday Coffee, the coffee, where we continue with our exploration through the Buddhism reading cards. I'm going to leave it right there by Sofan Chen, who painted all these beautiful cards. Lots of vibrant, bright colors. So I'm asking Spirit and our ancestors to help me to find and pull the correct, not just the correct, but the card that they want me to uh, out of this deck to share with you for your next, this Monday week that you have before you. So let's see which one we get. This is beautiful. Okay. Okay, pure mindfulness, number 11. Mindfulness is the miracle by which we master and restore ourselves. With mindfulness comes the awareness that what has happened is in that what has happened in the past is only a memory, okay? And what's going to happen in the future, but that's still kind of a form of fantasy. Be still and be open to the most precious moments that life presents to you. All the opportunities and blessings to be found are unfolding for you in the now. And this is the purity card. Okay, so now we're going to read a little bit more into the purity card. Oops. Okay. Mindfulness is the most important thing we can do, of course, to regain our true well-being and happiness. The mind has a tendency to go wandering in the past and venturing into the future. Very rarely does it take any notice of what is happening in the present, thereby missing the most precious moments life has to offer. Mindfulness practices like meditation, yoga, art, music, as well as the martial arts, bring the awareness that what has happened in the past is only a memory. And what's going to happen in the future is a form of fantasy. While all opportunities and blessings that are there are unfolding in the now, not in the past and not in the future at this point. You have to be more aware, put your awareness in the now. Mindfulness keeps the mind still and clear, allowing the heart to open. In this state, we are able to experience clear insight, the ability to see things as they are without judgment or prejudice. The trained mind is anchored in the moment and understands that true happiness can only be experienced in the here and now, in this present moment. Knowing this can bring deep inner peace and empowerment daily as you realize that in the now is when you have the power to change everything. Reflection. Have you ever noticed that your mind loves wandering to the past and into the future, but not so much into the present. And here's your homework. Action. Write down a list of the feelings you have experienced when your mind is in the present, either during meditation or when practicing some form 
of mindfulness, like when you're listening to music, when you're looking at art, when you're doing yoga or meditation, or when you're in the shower and you're just, you're not preoccupied with the past or the future. You're really in the present moment. So write down what you notice, what your feelings are when you experience that feeling of being really truly present in the now. All right? All right. That's your homework. And I'll see you next Monday. Have a great week. And thank you. Make sure to thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Make sure your notifications are on. Thank you so much. And please share with like-minded people. Bye.